Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of my LEGO Terrain Automated Container Terminal. Now I hear you think, what has the Saturn V rocket has to do with the container terminal? Well, absolutely nothing, but that's something I will discuss later on. Um, you haven't heard from me in a while and that's because two weeks ago I have become a dad. So I'm very, very pleased that daughter and mother are doing just fine. And um, I had some other business to attend to, uh, diapers and stuff like that. But I also found some time to do some working on my projects. But not too much. I'm working on two projects on the same time now. The first one is the container terminal, as you all know, and the second one is the animation series that I will be uploading, I don't know, I hope in October, November, something like that. And that's why you are looking at a Saturn V rocket. So what I'm gonna try in the last and third episode of the animation series is actually launch the Saturn V rocket. And that's why I also built the tower around it. I know there's also this uh, tower on LEGO ideas for the Saturn V. Um, I came up with this design. I already designed this one before the LEGO ideas came up. Um, I really like the LEGO ideas tower, um, but I like also my version. But it doesn't look as real as the ideas project. Um, but that doesn't matter. Um, that goes also with the story in the animation series that you'll uh, you'll see in the future. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to launch this thing in the animation series. I don't know yet how. It's it's a bit difficult. It's big, so I it's gonna be I don't know. Stop motion is difficult. So that's something I need to figure out. Um, I need to add lighting to the tower and also details. So I just wanted to show you the uh, tower and. Um, letting you know that a lot of cool stuff is coming up in the animation series. All right, let's go to the um, automated container terminal now. I haven't got time to work on it, but I have received a very, very interesting package. And that's something I wanted to share with you. So this is a package that I've been waiting for quite a while. And um, so it has been delayed a bit because it was stuck at customs and they wanted me to pay 40 euros. Uh, of import tax, which I unfortunately had to pay. Um, yeah, you know, I hate that, you know. I pay taxes on my salary of my day job, I pay taxes on all the stuff that I buy in the store, I pay taxes on my revenue on YouTube, and now I also have to pay taxes on, on these kind of things, and I'm like, I'm paying too much taxes. I know it's, it's, it's used in, in a good way, um, well, not all of it, according to me, but you know, it's, it's for, the, for the greater good, I, I, I understand that, but yeah, 40 euros for a package like this, is, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, let's, uh, let's leave it there, um, I, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I will order again uh, at this store if I need parts and um, if I need to pay import tax again, so be it, because they have great stuff. So I haven't opened it until here. So um, let's have a look what's inside. The package is from 4D Bricks. Uh, maybe you've heard of it. And they make uh, all kinds of stuff for uh, monorail systems and uh, also Lego train automation things with uh, 3D printers. I've had a chat with uh, Tom of 4D Bricks on Skype and they do real neat stuff and they have also very nice ideas for the future. So as you know, I'm gonna use monorail system in my automated container terminal. And that's why I ordered some stuff at 4D Bricks. So let's see what we have here. These are the bogies for the monorail system. Here we have some brackets that are used for the uh, monorail switch. Not the switch for the position, but the switch to turn it off or turn it on in one or the other direction. Very useful. You've seen it in the other videos that, I, uh, that I've shown you in the series. Uh, what else? Here we have some short pieces. I just bought several pieces. I don't know yet if I need them all, but it's, it's always handy to have them. And as you can see, the color matches very well with the old gray original Lego color. So it is nice. So we got also some uh, base units for the monorail trains. Or these are actually the extension cars. Very handy because I need uh, the original monorail has two wagons, let's call it like that. And I need three wagons because I need to place three containers on each monorail train. So I need extensions for that. And they print them as well, very handy. 
Here's two more because I need four uh, four monorail trains. Here we've got the uh, very long straight monorail. Very very nice stuff. Again a few shorts. Again a few long straights. I think I'm gonna have enough uh, monorail track now. <laughs> And uh, here's another bracket for the switch. What's this? I don't know yet what this is. This, this, I think it has to do with the bogey. I don't know yet. Same for this one. These are also definitely bo bogey parts. You need to click them on the bogey or on the extension car and then you can click them on the uh, motor wheel motor. And furthermore, there are some one, two, three, four, five, six switches that I use to control the monorail trains make them stop and um, go in a certain direction so I already ordered two of them to make uh, to have a look if, if it's something or not and they really do work just great so I ordered a few more so in total I have now eight of these switches inside there's just a, uh, a normal uh, servo motor and um, yeah that's it uh, I can tell you about this um, Alright, what's next, what's next? I can show you the, uh, the pizzeria that I've built. Sorry for that. That's it. So this pizzeria is featured in, in the animation series with lots of other um, dioramas or whatever you can call it, scenes. So uh, we got uh, scenes on Antarctica, but also in Lego City, and uh, it, it's going to be a very nice story, I believe. Uh, the alien has a big part in it, and uh, there will be also some other types that you haven't seen before. Alright, um, this is it. I know it's a bit disappointing regarding the automation of my Lego train container terminal. I just haven't had the time for it. Don't worry, I will work on it again. So um, there will be some progress in the upcoming weeks, that's for sure. In the meantime, I keep also working on the animation series. I do that also because I want to spread out the costs of the uh, container terminal. Uh, right now, I've already passed the thousand euros on the uh, container terminal. So as you can imagine, it's a very costly project and that's why I need to spread the costs a bit. And in the meantime, I keep working on the animation series. So um, the animation series will be three episodes in total. Um, I hope to upload the first one somewhere in October. It depends also a bit on the contest that I have going on for the um, Martian surface uh, in the LDD. Um, it's a contest that people can participate in, which would save me a lot of time so I don't have to design a Martian surface, but someone else does it for me and I can uh, use it in my uh, animation series and you get a nice prize if I select your design uh, but until now I only received one design so um, if you haven't seen that video yet and you're something like oh I can design something LDD have a look at the video I'll uh, put a link in uh, in the description so you have until October and if you are still working on the design please hurry up um, I'd like to receive them uh, before before the first of October so then I can make a decision and I can order the parts and I can shoot the scenes for the animation series. And um, then I can upload episode one and two for sure in October, November. Uh, the third episode with the rocket launch is a bit different. Um, it's a bit tricky, you need to find a way to uh, make it look nice. So it, it'll cost some extra time, but I hope to upload it also uh, November, December. So next episode will be about the uh, container terminal again. Now that I've received also the parts for the monorail, I can actually make a free container long monorail train and I can use the uh, wagons that I've already have, free containers. And we can make the train stop and the monorail train stop at a certain point and then move some containers and see if that works just fine. That's gonna be the, uh, the next episode uh, about the uh, container terminal. I hope to see you then, thank you for watching. So if you have any questions or doubts or whatever, let me know, leave a comment in the uh, comment section. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You're helping me with it. And well, yeah, that's about it. I hope to see you next time, bye.